case against socialism. You know, Bernie Sanders is no longer alone on the debate stage. It seems like we're hearing more and more about socialism. In fact, 43% of Americans think it's a good thing. You are on the complete other end of that. Tell us about this book. Well, one of the things we learned in writing the book is a lot of people say, well, we're not for Stalin, we're not for Hitler, we're for Scandinavia. So as we were researching the book, we actually found that Bernie Sanders' form of socialism actually is unpopular and he would never get elected to anything in Denmark. In fact, the prime minister of Denmark, when he heard Bernie was going around saying they were socialists, says, no, no, we're not socialists. We have private property, a stock exchange, we have low corporate income taxes, we don't have a minimum wage. And the big difference, and this is where the big lie comes from. Bernie says we're going to give you all this free stuff, but we're only going to tax the rich people. In Scandinavia, they tax the working class, 25% sales tax, and an income tax starting at 60000 is 60%. So really, the difference between their country and our country is they do have more free stuff in Scandinavia, but they pay for it with massive taxes on the working class and the middle class. But we have massive taxes here, but we don't get any free stuff. We don't have free right. health care. Well, our, our public education system we, we, is a problem. We have, we have a Seems like the only people that get free stuff form, are the very, very wealthy. No, we have a different form of taxation in our country, ours is much more progressive. So we've taken the poor off of the rolls. They don't pay income tax anymore. Most people below $50,000 don't pay any income tax. The top 1% in our country pay 40%. Our audience 40%. says that's not true. Well, <laughs> the IRS statistics say that the top 1% in our country pay 40% of the income tax and that those making less than $50,000... Donald Trump doesn't pay any income tax. Let me, yeah, let me, and, ask, and, let me and, ask you and, this, because, you know, I live in Miami. There's tens of thousands of Venezuelan exiles living there. You talk a lot about Venezuela in, right. your, new, in your new book. I get a lot of... Um, a lot of political ads from the Republican Party. Donald Trump has tweeted this. Many have tweeted this. If you vote for Democrats, you, they will turn the United States into Venezuela. Do you think that's a fair statement to make? Well, if you vote for a socialist, you might get socialism. Come on, don't do that. Maduro is not a socialist. He's a, he's a corrupt, well, murderous thug well, who is starving his well, people. That's not it's, true. That's yeah, not oh, true. that's not true? Maduro's not a thug well, and a murderer no, it's not who's true. starving it's, his people? Let's, let's have a conversation here. Chavez was a socialist, and socialism was the economic system and of they Venezuela. Stole. They are, it's and a kleptocracy. So, it's yeah, know, not but socialism. The, but, but here's the question is, they voted for socialism. They voted for, let uh, me finish. No, I they, can't let, let me, you finish. If you're going to say Maduro's not a murderous thug, I'm not Wait, and I've got a bunch of neighbors and friends who know this. Don't do this to me. We, Don't mansplain. We, I'm a 47-year-old Thanks to Senator Rand Paul. His new book is called The Case Against Socialism, and we'll be right back.